It's very sweet. It says We Heart and Tom Fell, for those who can't see it. We have matching shirts too. No, I'm loving the shirts, people. It's great. I think we've been really starting a, tr a trend off with I Heart yes, Tom yeah. Fell. Well, I shall complain. Brilliant. Okay, so our question was, um, we were just wondering if you had a favourite scene or moment to film from the entire Harry Potter franchise. Yeah, again, it's very, very tricky. I mean, we had some great, great moments on the last film, especially with uh, the amount of fantastic actors we all had in one scene. Um, doing the final sort of showdown between good and evil uh, at Hogwarts for the very last film with, you know, Voldemort sort of leading the Dark Army and, and uh, Bonnie and so forth, all the other good guys on the other side. So that was, that was really memorable for sure. Um, I had great fun with, with Daniel in the sixth film when we blew up the, the, the bathroom together. <laughs> but without ruining the magic too much, a lot of the time when we did spells, nothing happened. Uh, <laughs> they do it later, so it's, it's, it's quite disheartening when you do a spell and nothing happens. So it was nice, they actually rigged this bathroom up, so every time you did a spell, they blew up a toilet or the <coughs> sink smashed up. So it was really satisfying. Uh, <laughs> it actually felt like the wand was really, really powerful, so it's good. <laughs> Uh, Michelle's over on our right. Hi, Tom. Hi. Hey. I was just wondering if you got to take any props or souvenirs from the set. Ooh. Strictly speaking, no. <laughs> <laughs> just between you and I. <laughs> no, uh, to be honest with you, I didn't. Um, I did ask. I wanted wands and, and cloaks and broomsticks, nimbuses and so forth, but they assured me that they're going to go to museums and better places for, for the likes of uh, yourselves to, to, to go and see and... and uh, and check them out. So, in, in hindsight, that's probably a better place than in my kitchen or something like that. <laughs> as much as I'd love a Nimbus hanging on the wall of my kitchen, I mean, who wouldn't? But, uh, I managed to get Draco's ring. There were there were several there were several rings, and they managed they gave me one of those. So that that, that sits pride on my mantle. It's a good keepsake. Yeah, I like it. I know from experience when I was on the set, it was very tempting looking at this. It's such a vast you were set. You, there were just books, you know, stacks of styrofoam Actually, books. They did there. a thing on the last two films. Uh, every car leaving leaves the studios was subject to searching. Uh, I would imagine, yeah. So we, well, we, we wanted to do this, we never did, but I wanted to handcuff Daniel, the guy who plays <laughs> stick him in the boot of the car, put <laughs> some gaff tape around his mouth. <laughs> He was up for it. He was up for it. We never, we never did, unfortunately. It was something we wanted to do. So, yeah, that would have been great to see their, their face when they opened up really drunk good. and just saw Daniel. <laughs> things. Um, we had so many inspirational uh, uh, cast members, as you know. I mean, Daniel was always a, a huge inspiration to me. He's, he's a couple of years younger than me, but he's always someone that I've always looked up to. He's, um, he's relentless. He was there four times more than any other actor, and he never took it for granted, never got bored, always insisted that we were having you know, the most amazing time and how lucky we were to be there. So I think all of the, the young cast had, had Daniel to look up to. Um, and as we grew older, a lot of the cast, other, other adult cast as well. I know, you know Jason Isaacs, who plays my dad, he, he really sort of took me under his, uh, under his, under his wing, so to speak. And, uh, and again, a lot, of the, a lot of the crew, a lot of the faces and people that you, that you guys unfortunately don't know, they, they, uh, they really took good care of us over the years, so they, they were very inspirational. What did you think about the way that The Last Film, Deathly Hallows Part Two wrapped up the, the franchise? Do you feel like it was a good representation of the book when you watched it back? Yeah, definitely. I think it was a, it was a huge relief when we heard they were going to make it into two films. Yeah. Um, a worst case scenario would be that we'd have to sort of cut the wonderful work that we, uh, of, 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 of Joe. So, um, yeah, the reactions that I've got, I mean, all we really cared about, to be honest with you, is what you guys think. And, and I haven't heard many complaints, so um, I'm, I'm really happy with it. And, and it's like, yeah, as long as the fans are happy, then I'm over the moon. You happy? Uh, 